Master Ken here with another episode of Master Ken's Privates. Back again at Attitude First with John the Asp. Man, he once sold balls to Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, that used to be his previous business. Uh, they were only blue, so he was known as John Blue Balls. It was a cool gig. Today we're gonna talk about the utility of weaponizing offensive ricochets. A lot of people think that ricochets are things that only happen by accident. You fire a gun, the bullet bounces off the intended target and goes off wherever it goes, but you can actually weaponize the ricochet on purpose, correct? There is an incredibly limited, oh geez. Okay, so so if I'm, if I'm, no, don't do it everyone, but in a this very- This is him going on record saying you should definitely practice weaponizing ricochets on purpose. If in a context where you had somebody who was an imminent deadly threat to you or someone else, say for instance on the other side of a vehicle and you can see their appendages on the other side of the vehicle but you can't see them over the top of the vehicle, there's a time to maybe skip a bullet off the ground. If you have a assailant who maybe still has a gun on them, they're down but they're still a deadly threat. Potentially, if you're gonna miss, miss low because that bullet will skip up and get them. And remember, it doesn't come in. If it comes in at one angle, it goes out at a more shallow angle. And so there's an incredibly limited usefulness to this. But as a general rule, Master Ken, we don't wanna do that. We're accountable for every round we fire and you want the bullet to go into the imminent deadly threat directly. I disagree. A lot of people don't understand the origin of the ricochet. The ricochet is actually a French technique developed by a man named Rick O'Shea. O'Shea being a French last name. Uh, this French and not Irish? No. People were using these techniques back when ammunition was rare and expensive. That's why I bring this up. It is becoming rare and expensive again. So people need to save their ammunition and they wanna be able to reuse it. So you can refire a ricocheted bullet. That's the reason I'm bringing this up. It is also a less lethal way of firing at an assailant. If we have a weapon, you have a weapon on you? Well, I have a blue gun. Okay. If I want to save these bullets and I want to stop the attacker without killing them, I'm going to do offensive ricochets. I might do them right from my holster, reaching down, putting my finger on the trigger first, pressuring the back of the weapon and just firing down into the ground so that they flip up into the legs and groin area. You may have difficulty getting your finger on the trigger and recycling the action. So you have to kind of trigger, you have to flip the slide like this, okay? Master Ken, do you not worry about the spall and splatter on your own lower appendages when you're doing this? No, I wear a cup. Uh, so if you wear a cup, you should be fine. You gotta wear a serious cup though. I have a titanium uh, cup. Does that cover your lower legs and feet? No. So that bullet's gonna go into the ground, splatter all over the place in, in a 360 degree arc, and you're not worried about that hitting your feet? No, this is where your aim is very, very important. This is where tactically you need to make sure you just point the weapon away from you so that everything that bounces up is all gonna bounce on the opponent. While you're firing from your holster. Absolutely. Another tactic is if you actually take the weapon out, okay? Huh. Another way you can do it is if you are in a place that has a ceiling, okay? Putting the weapon above the opponent and just firing up so that the lead just goes boop, 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 landing on top of the head of the opponent. You ever had a desk pop? Desk pop, this is similar, okay? What we call it is a bullet bump. Same thing can be used on the wall. This person comes up to me in a threatening manner. I draw the weapon, point it at the wall at a particular angle, okay? Firing here, bullet goes out, bounces, bumps, okay? Bullet, bounce, bump. If the physics in your world involves Looney Tunes characters, you bet. Once the bullets bump him in the temple, disorients him, he falls down. <laughs> you wanna be able to finish him off with stomping the groin, but you want to stomp the bullets into the groin, which is why you want to wear steel-toed shoes. If you wear steel-toed shoes, just put your foot at an angle above the groin, fire into the steel toes, and the bullets drop down onto the groin, essentially bulleting his balls in a bumping fashion. And then as always, re-stomp that groin. 
All right, that was another episode of Master Ken's Privates. I want to thank John once again for telling us on the record to make sure that primarily you focus on offensive ricochets from here on out. As far as your training, you're comfortable with that statement? Okay, so as an example of what not to do, yes. Right, what not to do unless you do it our way, the way you saw in this training video, citing this in a court of law should be fine. As a bad example. Bad example of the way he demonstrated, but when you see my demonstration, make sure that you do it exactly as I did it and then utilize this. And if judge, if you're, if there's a judge watching this, uh, just for the record, I'm okay with whatever happened in the case that you're examining right now. That should uh, suffice as a legal defense. Well, um, if you use that advice, I hope you like prison food and penis. If you want to learn more about John, you can go to just find us on ActiveSelfProtection.com or on all the major social platforms at Active Self Protection. I'm Master Ken. Tune in next time for another episode of Master Ken's Privates. Us. Thanks for watching our video. Remember, you can order your own personalized video message from me, Master Ken, by going to Cameo. So whether it's a happy birthday or you want me to tell you or your instructor why your martial art is total bullshit, go to Cameo and order your video message today. And remember, always restop that groin.